2 Samuel 6, 3 through 5. The ark was placed on an, upon a new cart and taken from the hillside home of Abedoniah. It was driven by Abedoniah's sons, Isaiah and Ahab. Um, these should have all been priests, um, because priests were the only ones who moved carts. This obviously was a priest's house that it was being moved to. A new cart showed, it was never instructed to be moved on a cart. So this is part of the problem, um, in this story. They were to pick it up by post and carried it. Scripture says this. So they were moving God's ark in an improper way. First problem, we need to move, do, move in the ways God commands us and the things he instructs us with, we need to follow out by doing the way he details. Verse 4, Oahia was which was, which was on a hill and Oahia was walking in, in front of the ark. So he's He's walking up front. Um, it's on a cart, so they may be short-handed. Typically, six men were the ones carrying the ark. Right here, it sounds like a four. Instead of gathering two extra men, they're pushing a cart, making sure it's still on there. Meanwhile, David and his and all the house of Israel were dancing before the Lord with all kinds of instruments. Made of cypress wood and with lyres and harps, tambourines, castanets, and cymbals. So they're praising God because of victory. Because they're getting the ark back. The ark was seen as God's presence. But the fact is, David is praising God because he knows the presence of the Lord was in that victory. Even though they didn't have the ark. He knew God's presence was there. And he's praising in God's presence. You know, we may put objects, putting God in objects is so horrible, so limiting to him. We may put him in a church house and be like, well, I got to go to church. Well, going to church is good, but you can talk to God without being in that building. When you remember that, David knew that. 